Good afternoon. I'm Gergely Mészáros, patient advocate and project manager of PHA Europe. Let me share with you some of my thoughts and experience about the work within this task force. Let me stress that this is the very first time where patients and patient advocates were involved in this work. From the very beginning, together with Pisana Ferrari, PH patient from Italy, we contributed to this task force. In the kickoff meeting, we have had the chance to opt for some of the sections which we believe important from patient perspective. We have chosen quality of life related sections, pregnancy, expert centers, and patient involvement, among others. Quality of life questionnaires and measurements are utmost important from patient perspective. Let me quote here Professor Nazareno Garrier, who said that the pH management is not solely about prescription of drugs, but the continuous assessment of pH patients. We firmly believe that quality of life questionnaires and the responses gathered from patients are important contributor for this risk stratification and assessment. We have a very long discussion about pregnancy. And within the guidelines, we have a compromise wording. And I think we have opened the door a bit. There is always big discussions around expert centers. From patient perspective, it is important that patients are treated in expert centers and patients are receiving the best possible treatments which are available in the given country. However, there is a big question mark how we define expert centers. There might be qualitative and quantitative indicators and measurements. However, some of them might be challenged by countries which cannot meet such kind of requirements due to geographical or political consideration. However, this section comprises provisions regarding the core network and the core team of a multidisciplinary team. The section provides recommendation regarding the number of new patients and patients which should be treated in an expert center. Last but not least, let me cover the patient involvement part, or as we call nowadays the patient involvement section. We have had the chance to run a short presentation about the importance of this. And naturally, we made a huge amount of work regarding literature research because regarding the last five years, lots of things happened on this field. And I can gladly share with you that there is a new recommendation within this section, which clearly says that it is recommended to work together with patient association. I believe that it is a very important step towards the holistic care of patients. And this is one of the biggest strengths of the new guidelines. However, on the other hand, we know that it's a very long way ahead of us. We are still missing non-invasive diagnostic tools, as well as curative medications for pH. Let me conclude my thoughts with a big, big thank that we could be involved in this work and contribute to the new guidelines. I really hope that our work was not considered as a burden or hindered the work of our physician partners, but they handled us in a way as a real partner to this work. So let me thank again. Take care and looking forward to new projects in the new few in the future. Goodbye.